not so hard. My father is hard at study. Pay now, rest yourself. He is safe for these three hours. Oh, most dear mistress, the sun will set before I discharge what I must strive to do. You look wearily. No, noble mistress, this fresh morning with me when you were by at night. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your house to say so. Admired Miranda. Indeed, the top of admiration, worth what's dearest in the world. Full many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time the harmony of their tongues hath into bondage brought my too diligent ear. For several virtues have I liked several women, never any with so full soul, but some defect in her to quarrel with the noblest grace she owed and put her to the foil. But you, oh you, so perfect and so peerless, are creator of every creature's best. I do not know one of my own sex. No man's face remembers, save from my glass, mine own. Nor have I seen more than I may call men than you, good friend, and my dear father. How features are abroad, I am skillless of, but by my modesty, the jewel of my dower. I would not wish any companion in the world but you. Nor can imagination form a shape besides yourself to like of. But I prattle something too wildly, and my father's precepts I dare to forget. I am, in my condition, a prince, Miranda. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you did my heart fly to your service. Do you love me? Heaven, O oh earth, bear witness to this sound, and crown what I confess with kind event if I speak true. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, and honor you. I am a fool to weep what I am glad of. Wherefore weep you? That mine unworthiness, that dare not offer what I desire to give, and much less take what I shall die to want. This is trifling, and all the more it seeks to hide itself, the bigger bulk it shows. Hence, bashful cunning, and prompt me, plain and holy innocence. I am your wife if you will marry me. If not, I'll die your maid. To be your fellow you may deny me, but I'll be your servant whether you will or no. My mistress dearest, and I thus humble Emma. My husband then? I, with a heart as willing as bondage, heir of freedom. Here's my hand. And mine, with my heart in it. And now farewell, till a half hour hence. A thousand thousand.